Yo, what's going on? So you're witnessing me just sharing my process. Some of you will have found me via the polyphasic sleep videos and you may have come from my web development channel or know of it. Uh, this is, um, it, it's a number of things. It's a form of therapy, not I'm not doing it for that reason, it just ends up being that way. It's like a, a daily diary, which is, it's just, it has a very positive effect on the mind. It encourages you to grow and expand in ways that um, I can't find words to uh, describe. But I wanna share something of value if and when I feel that that's possible to do so. Um, have I completely given up on the polyphasic sleep now? No, but it has changed. Last night, I've not been feeling sleepy round about 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I'm just like lying there, I'm not falling asleep, so I've been getting up. Last night, for example, that happened, I just got up, I came in here, and I was awake till about half three, a.m. and then I took my core by the time I got my core it was about 3.50 I woke up about half eight so I had about four hours and 40 minutes total sleep and I haven't needed a nap I've been quite alert oh actually no I tell a lie I did take a nap I took about a 40 to 50 minute nap today so <laughs> Back up, Mike, back up. So, I'm involved in a lot of creative endeavors. And something I heard, uh, somebody was talking about how to be successful in you know, building your business, uh, being successful in life. And they said, you've got to be more involved in the creating than you are in checking to see the creation checking to see for the results and that's how you become successful and when the results do show up don't dwell on it too much because it's going to be very fleeting you're going to feel great for a bit and then it's like oh is that it because it's the creation that we sorry it's the creating is where the joy is is being in the moment so that is, I'm going to take that on board and I'm going to apply it to the uh, YouTube channel and apply it to life in general. So the process of me saying that now on video, and I'm probably going to title this video, Create for Creation's Sake or something. Create for the joy of creating. I wrote it down and it's going to cement it. This is going to consolidate my learning. So that's where I'm at right now. It's a weekend and yeah, we'll keep these videos like I'm not going to like just totally go off on one. It's still aligned hustle. It's still sleep, grind and game. Game, not necessarily meaning dating. Game as in life as a game and play the game and play it well. So from time to time, I may share with you um, like my diet and um, my training and because I'm doing candle focus every day. And like, I think there's a very small group of us, so I'll just share this. I had an experience today in candle focus where my, it's like you're not breathing. And I'm not gonna say, they, they say, <laughs> I'm not going to say they say, they say that you shouldn't really talk about meditation. You should just do the meditation. So when I feel like I've got something of significance to share in that regard, I will do. But, and I share this because it, it may, like I might, I might say something which inspires you to go away and think, yeah, you know, I'm going to tweak my diet or I'm going to, eat more greens and more vegetables. I am eating more greens and more vegetables and I feel like I'm experiencing the positive benefits of that, especially I'm noticing it in my skin, which 
is very encouraging. Uh, but I, I mean, this is all like a lot of this is going to be anecdotal evidence and things that you haven't heard. I'm not really saying anything you haven't heard before, I guess, in this video. I think the value may come in the process, in coming along on this journey with me whilst you make little tweaks of your own to your lifestyle and your approach to things. If this resonates with you, and if that's the case, then our approach to things will be to be more in the moment, to be like not chasing the result. For example, with YouTube, there's a tendency to be looking at how many subscribers you're getting in comparison to other people in your space. And that's where you, that's where you can fall into a trap, you become guarded, you start to defend and explain, over explaining yourself. And I don't want to be doing that. I just want to be me creating because it's what I enjoy doing and just seeing where it takes me. So I've let my hair down <laughs> literally this weekend. I've had some donuts. I may have a donut now. I almost didn't make this video, but I paused. I paused. And I just thought, just make the video. Get the, I, I didn't position the, the lights perfectly, but okay, I got the lights out. And do I regret making the video? No, I'm glad, because I wanna keep this process going. Me talking to the camera now is gonna make it easier for me to make my video on my other YouTube channel. So I'll leave it there. Hope you're having a good weekend. It's doing more of the things that we know in our heart of hearts serves us and doing less of the things that we know don't serve us and learning to trust it. And when you learn to trust it, you just go with it, it grows, you incorporate in more things that serve you, you let go of more of the things that don't serve you, and life becomes a less of a, like, massive lows and highs. It becomes a steady ascension. You, you're always gonna have the dips, okay? That, that just comes with part of the deal, all right? Being on Earth, <laughs> being in physical reality, you're gonna have the dips, but the dips are good because it causes you to think, I'm gonna do this differently. So I hope that didn't make too much noise. I'm gonna do this differently. That's what causes the expansion. But because you're letting go of the things that just get in your way, it becomes more of a, if you don't have these massive lows where you're just going off on a binge, smoking and whatever addiction you you may go to at th those times okay i'm rambling hope you got something from that i'll catch you tomorrow take it easy peace